Hi guys, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we're going to learn how to use the new multi-photo green screen option in Darkroom Core 9.3. This is also available in Pro and Assembly, but this allows you to add a single photo node to a green screen template and then add multiple photos to that single node. Where this uh, is real helpful is if you have a, say a team photo and you've shot individuals individually and you wanna now make a composite. So we'll do the, that with uh, this uh, these images we have here. Um, I'm gonna show you in a little bit different way, but uh, we'll see how that goes. So let's uh, go to our templates. I'm going to create a new template and let's make it a 8 by, do it 8 by 16. Okay. And it's going to be horizontal, page color doesn't matter. Uh, we'll call it GS Pano Demo HORZ for horizontal. And then we're going to add a graphic. Okay. And um, just for fun, we'll go ahead and add some text as well. white with uh, soft drop shadow okay and we want to make sure that is floating so we can adjust it and then we're going to do the same thing with our photo object make chroma key and it's set for floating and let's go ahead and toss it behind that text layer and save it as a new template. So nothing too special about what we did there. We added a graphic, we added a chroma key photo object, and then we added a little bit of text. Um, let's see, save in my templates under my templates folder. Okay, so let's switch over to the photo workshop. Click B. And that image right there is from the demo on with remove.bg. That image was not shot on green screen. So if you want to learn a little bit more about that, um, it was actually shot outside and then placed using artificial intelligence. There's a video for remove.bg now available in 9.3. Um, it should be uploaded as well. So we're going to switch to That template. Oh, let's uh, let's actually click end. So that's the original image. You can see it was not shot on green screen. So pretty cool stuff. Um, switch to this image. And the reason why I wanted to turn that template off was because if I tried swapping out the image with a new one, it would have added. And you'll see in just a second what I'm saying. Rather than replaced. Okay, so now the idea is if we had a, a team photo, we just drag in a whole bunch of different players. Resize them, get them fitting in there. And we're pretending these are all different little girls rather than the same cute little girl. Uh, so, and then T 
team name. And then we can move that wherever we want. So that's using the multiple photo object. I'm gonna show you what I would actually really do with this as a, uh, a portrait for somebody rather than a team photo. So let's click end and turn that back off. And then we're gonna select this image and then turn our template back on. And then select this image, drag it right there. So now we have a enlarged image and a full body image and Put her name right there and hopefully we're able to sell that for a little bit more money than a single image i hope this has been helpful uh we have a lot of cool things coming uh to darkroom core 9.3 um, i hope you're on it if you have it uh upgraded now's a great time too thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time